Now, many of you all know Malin Cassell really well, and uh, today we've got some news, which is really exciting and also a little bit sad as well. So, Malin Cassell, we're so excited about what your news is. Tell us what God has been speaking to you guys about. Well, I'm not sure we've so much got news as more to tell you about a journey, the journey that we've been on. As Owen uh, was saying, uh, that uh, everybody, I've listened to Owen's talk already, and he says that um, that uh, in it that um, you know everybody's been affected by lockdown, and I think for for us, it's just I remember saying to the Lord before lockdown, ages and ages ago, of Lord. Um, if we ever were to move on, um, please, can we move to not move from? Um, because that feels like the, the wise thing to, to do. And so if we ever need to move to, then please make it clear. And, um, and just expecting that. And then um, uh, uh, we started to get uh, a few dreams. Yeah. And, and uh, pictures from uh, different people, just about almost changing wells and changing body and things that we really started to seek God about, but with no sense of, of aware. Or So it was like, well, we're not moving to something, so we just kind of hold those things. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, somebody we know very well, Alan Scott, um, he really challenged me. I remember that he, he left where he was, not knowing where he was going to go next, feeling like he needed to be released first, to almost to open up his hands. And it was like, Lord, I, I, uh, please don't do that with us. <laughs> and as I prayed it, it was kind of this sense of when you pray that, that normally is to do with that. That's what maybe the Lord's going to do with you. And I think we went out for a, a walk uh, some time ago going, Actually, we think we've had enough prophetic words and things now that we really need to take this quite seriously. And maybe we need to go and talk to Owen and Claire. Mm. So we came and talked to Owen and Claire. And I think it was that day um, somebody had been praying for us in Australia uh, um, who'd, who'd had this, this prophetic lottery thing where she put names in a box and put them out on the screen, not being able to see them. Um, that day, our daughter called and said, look on Facebook Live. Um, my friend who's, who's, got, who's, who's prophesying over people is pray, praying for you right now. Mm. And it was all very similar things about new seasons of, of being intentional. Mm. Yeah. So uh, we went and talked to Owen and Claire about it. And um, just a, a sense of needing to very, it feels very scary and vulnerable to effectively say, we think we need to, we don't know what's next but we think we need to be released to be ready for it mm. it's a sense of emptying our hands isn't it it felt like that was the thing that we needed to lay down um a lot of what we were doing just to say lord what are you giving back what are you putting back into our hands but with that it felt very strongly that we needed so we to grasp yeah thing. we needed to pull back yeah. from um seven. and also a kind of a I guess we've been learning more and more about vulnerability mm. and it feels like our own personal stretch around vulnerability and not being in control and just kind of really wanting to say, Lord, you know, we we do trust you mm. and we want to be on an adventure of trust. Mm. So Absolutely. let's see what that means. And, Owen and Claire, you've been lovely in how you've uh, journeyed with us in that to this point. <laughs> Well, you know, we are a, as, as, as everyone knows, we're a multiplication movement. Like when Claire and I moved here 11 years ago from Nottingham to Bristol to start this church, like that was, that was us saying to God the same thing. It was like, God, we, we want to lay down whatever is in our hands, which at the time we were associate pastors at Trent Vineyard and we were full time and we, we just had our kids and, and we just felt, no, that this is the time for us to just say, God, what is the next step for us? What is our... What is, what is the next step in the adventure that you have for us in our lives? And uh, I think um, John Wimby, who founded the Vineyard Moon, used to talk about just being loose change in, loose change in God's pocket, right? Um, just this idea that God could spend him on whatever he wanted to. Just this utter submission and uh, obedience to God. And of course, you know, that sounds quite like, whoa, that's quite radical. But actually, when you have a relationship with Jesus... 
and you just experience the unconditional love of God, actually it just, it flows from that place, doesn't it? And I, I know for, for you two, actually, your whole life has been about journeying with Jesus. Um, uh, just, you know how much God loves you so unconditionally. And actually your heart for him is born of that love that he's, he's poured out into your hearts, right? And so for me to hear you talk about this was a, a shock, but it was also no surprise really, if I'm really honest. Because that's the way that's the way we are as community. We're a multiplying community. God is multiplying us all the time, and uh, yeah, for us as a church, it's going to be really hard to kind of um, wave you into that new season of your life. But at the same time, we know that's that's who we are. That's in our DNA, and uh, and there's nothing there. There's nothing unusual about this for us as a as a church and as a movement. So. Um, it, it's uh, obviously we're not going to we're, we're telling everyone today guys aren't we but we're not it's not going to happen tomorrow it, I, was, I was hoping you were going to say don't go <laughs> <laughs> yeah no 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 for, for, <laughs> blah, yeah all right then <laughs> But anyway, no, no, uh, we are, uh, we're looking at this over the next couple of months, or two or three months. So we expect things to be um, wrapped up by the end of August, don't we? But we're in, we're in journey, we're in process together on this and what that looks like. So, um, so for everyone else that um, uh, is around us as a church, do do be praying uh, for clarity, uh, a vision for Malin Crystal. And, um, and just, uh, we know that God's going to do this. And so we're excited about what God is doing. So uh, if you're if you're feeling like worried or, or wobbled by it, go to God with that. You know, I mean, obviously come to us as well, but go to Jesus and, and bring it to Jesus. Because I'm sure that Mal and Christelle, you're feeling a bit wobbled by this, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're feeling a bit wobbled by it, but we've got to take our stuff to Jesus. And uh, because he's the only one that can really uh, just... Uh, meet all of our needs so guys thank you so much for sharing this great news we're excited there is sadness but we're so excited about what god is doing and uh obviously uh, if you're um if you've got any questions do talk to Matt Purcell, do talk to claire and i anyone on staff team any of our leaders we told all our leaders last monday so they all know so go to your community group leaders go to your um and, uh, team leaders and and uh, they'll be more than happy to give you more information on this and also talk to us as well but guys thanks so much for sharing so vulnerably about this and we're looking forward to sharing this part of the journey with you um, and please pray for us well and especially that we felt like we needed to just be in a place of vulnerability for the door to open yeah. so when revelation 3 where it says you know he closes doors that no one can open and opens doors that no one can shut please pray with us that the doors that the doors that open are the ones that we must put ourselves in a place now that they do absolutely brilliant stuff